Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Max. Thank you so much for stopping by. I super duper appreciate it. And I keep seeing cute Valentine's Day looks on Instagram and YouTube and I just like started getting in the mood and I was like, I wanna do like a little cute Valentine's Day look too. Like I wanna be a part of the group. Um, so that's just what I'm gonna do today. Nothing too special. I'm just gonna insp get inspired by this holiday. Uh, Billy and I don't normally do anything for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna talk while I put my eye primer on, my ABH one. Um, I hate going out on Valentine's Day. It's always extremely packed and crazy out and honestly, I don't feel the need to go be all fancy and do all that stuff. So normally we just stay home, cook together, watch a movie, and just be with each other because he works a lot. So um, whatever time we do get to spend together, we just, it's nice. So the only thing I do have my, I have my eyebrows done. I decided to trim them and fill them in. So that's the only thing I have done. My face is super red and irritated today. Not sure why, but it does its own thing all of the time. So I really wanted to use my ABH Norvina. I believe this is volume three. There's a shade in here that I just really love, which is C2. So I was thinking that'd be a really good shade to use today. And We'll see what others we come up with. I don't know if I should do like a red, pink, and purple. Or just like a red with shimmer. I don't know. But I am going to grab my nude palette. I'm going to start off with the It Naturally Pretty Nude just to set my eye. So I'm going to take this shade. It just makes it really nice to have something to blend into. So let me know in the comments below if you and your boo have um, Valentine's Day plans. I'm like curious to see what you guys have going on. So, I guess I'm going to go into the shade B3, which is like this hot pink shade. Actually, let's start with B5. Changed my mind. I want to go into this to do more of a transition shade. It's kind of like that uh, pinky red tone brown going on. I just want something soft in the crease to blend into. I have been freaking loving this Betty Boop blending brush from Ipsy and it's like almost taking place of my um, Lisa Frank brush I got from Ipsy and like that was been my favorite brush forever and I've been using this one so much more and I'm like did I replace my favorite brush maybe I will pull out my Lisa Frank brush use my two favorite brushes today so I don't know if you guys deal with this but I have this, I guess like this indent in my eye right here. And it always makes my shadows look darker right there. And it drives me insane basically every day. Because I'm like, why do you have to do that? I don't like it. <laughs> but I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that deals with that. So then I always try to deepen up <laughs> this area over here. Because it drives me crazy. We're gonna start off with that. I'll use the Frank brush. 
And now I'm going to go into B3, which is that hot pink shade. So are you guys the, guys the kind of people that stay home and cook and do a movie like Billy and I? Or do you do the whole like make reservations in advance and make like a big thing out of it? I'm curious. Also, how many of you are like, I'm single and I'm going to stay home and take do take out? <laughs> Because that's totally okay too. Because why not? I've always wanted to um, order pizza on Valentine's Day and see if they do it in the shape of a heart. I've never tried it, but I always see people like do that and talk about it in like movies and online and stuff. And I'm like, I wonder if the pizza place in town would actually do that on Valentine's Day. It'd be pretty cool. See what I mean about how it looks darker over there and now it doesn't look as dark on this side. It's my everyday life. All right, I'm going to go into C2, which is the bright red shade. And it's going all over our lid. I freaking love this color. There's just something about it that's so pretty. So pretty. In the pan, it looks like really bright red, but it's almost like a neon, like coral, orange kind of shade when you put it on your eye. It's like pretty cool. I'm just gonna build it up a little bit more. Right in here. Oh yeah, boom, feeling it. I'm having all the feels. <laughs> Are you purpley? Do you want you? Mm. Okay. We are going to go into C4. Why did I? <laughs> I'm weird. Okay. And I'm going to get a smaller brush. We're going to take our little brush here. Dab into it and do it on the outer corner in here to add some depth because we love a little depth. Did I say inner corner? I meant outer corner, or maybe I said outer corner. And then we'll probably eventually drag this on the lower lash line as well. So I was thinking today, maybe I'll try an eyeliner with like the little heart in it. Cause I see that and I'm like, I wonder, I wonder if I could do that. Let's move on. Let's try the heart liner. I'm nervous. Because when you mess up the liner, you mess up the whole freaking look. <laughs> we'll, we'll see if we can do it. Okay, I think I'm going to use my ink liner. Because I think this is like one of my ones that are easier for me to control. I need like a really, a really easy one. Alright, I might not be able to talk through this. 
So just bear with me. This pencil is drying out, so maybe it wasn't the best one to use. It's a little old. Just gonna really shake it up, get the juices flowing. Oh wow, that's there's nothing happening. We might have to switch. That's that's lovely. You can camp on D we're gonna try our tattoo liner, which is awesome, but I didn't know because this one's a brush, it like bends more if I would be able to control this one as much as the felt tip. But we're gonna give it a go. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. I'm not um I'm not an artist, but I tried. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna do my wing on the other side and I will be right back. Okay, so this is what we're working with right now. Not really even, but I tried my best. We're gonna move on. I'm gonna use my milk hydro primer. You know, the goods. So we're gonna be really fancy and apply our Tarte concealer with our fingers today because my sponge and my brush are dirty and I apparently can't be bothered to clean them. Sucks when you've already done your eyebrows and like you're really trying not to mess them up. It's usually why I do my face and then my eyebrows, but we switched it up today. For concealer, I'm just gonna use my NARS pot and lightly dab it on. Now to finish our under eyes, we're going to go back into B3, very lightly. Uh, 
then with an even smaller brush, we're going to go into C2. Then I'm going to take my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliner in black. And then just push it halfway through on the lash line. I guess I'm just really feeling cream products today to use with the fingers because I'm going to go in with my Sephora gel um, blush in the shade Peony because that's what I'm feeling. Yes. For highlight, I'm going to go into this Super Shock Cruella highlighter because this one has a nice pink shift to it. So I feel like that would look cute. And these highlighters look a lot better when you apply them with your finger rather than a brush because they're so creamy. All right, so that's the highlight. Hopefully you can see that. And then I think, I hope this doesn't ruin the eyes, but I'm gonna go back into the palette and add a bit of C1 to the inner corner with my pinky. Does it make it or break it? <laughs> this is my favorite eyeshadow to use in the this palette. So it's like, I always try to sneak it in there. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Better without the shimmer or better with? All right, now all we need is mascara and lips. Now, I don't know if I should like do a nude lip or like bright pink. Will it take away from the eye? Maybe I'll do, maybe I should just do a gloss. Well, maybe we'll do that, like a lip liner and a gloss. For mascara, I just randomly grabbed my Clinique High Impact Mascara. Alright, for lips, I'm going to do my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Walk of Shame. And then I'm using my ABH Gloss in the shade Saint Tropez. Oh, I don't know if I like this. Yeah, I don't know if I'm feeling this lip. Like, I absolutely love this gloss. It's one of my favorites, but I don't know. Do we like it? Maybe we like it. Let me know. Okay, guys. This is the final look.
if you like. I don't know. I just wanted to do a cute little Valentine's Day look, even though I'm wearing a tank top with mustaches on it. Um, didn't think that through. And, but, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some inspiration. Let me know what you're doing for Valentine's Day. I would love to know. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you. Bye.